Hi everybody, it's Dr. Modi Charter back again for another Hoot. Wow, what exciting times. Uh, this is a little bit of an emergency video. All of a sudden in Israel, Barnal Cam 1, people woke up, turned, opened up the stream, and what do they see? Three nestings alone. And the, uh, your first uh, feeling is, where's the mother? Oh no, something happened to the mother. So this is very common. First of all, you can breathe. Everything is okay. Um, Barnall parents, the nestings are right now, 30, the oldest one is about 35 days old, which is old. Um, and what happens is, is at a certain age, the female starts a hunt with the male. Now, um, when they hunt, they hunt in all different locations. I've done some researches with this with using GPS tags and stuff. And a lot of times a female will actually start roosting closer to the hunting site than to the nest, which could be very far away, up to even a, a kilometer or two away. It can be quite far. Um, and, and what happens is is that at a certain age, the, the nestlings become a little bit more aggressive. And when a female feeds them, they become overly excited and stimulated and start pulling her feathers and you know, and stuff like that. And, and a female just wants to feed them and bring them prey, but the nestling wants to, to, to uh, encourage her to hunt again. If you look, sometimes a female will do this when a male, when she's uh, also incubating the same type of behavior. And, and, and this becomes a little bit um, difficult for the female. So at a certain point, she when she starts hunting, she needs to rest outside uh, during the day in, in order that she can hunt. And if she was with the nestlings, she may not necessarily be able to rest. Now, there are dangers in this by leaving the nestlings alone. Uh, we have pigeons here, invasive miners that are trying to uh, um, potentially enter the box. And we know what in the past that pigeons can actually lay in the nest box while there's nestlings inside. That does not turn out good for the pigeons, but they try it. They've tried it in, in the past. Uh, and the, with the miners, a little bit more dangerous because the miners potentially can try to kill the nestlings. But at 35 days old, I hope that the nestlings should be able to defend themselves. Miners are much smaller, but you never know. Uh, uh, we have, till now, have no observation of miners attacking uh, barn owl nestlings. It is a new invasive species, so it may happen. I hope it doesn't. Hopefully, the nestlings will be able to defend themselves. The main worry uh, when with females start hunting it is not during the daytime. It's actually during the nighttime that another barn owl can come. If it is a, uh, a nestling from a, a fledgling from another nest, uh, or if it's another adult, in both cases, uh, another adult may come because they want to occupy the box. In both cases, the... Uh, these intruders can kill the nestling. When it comes to fledgling, they um, they will come and typically dominate the food. They come to the nest box in order to get fed by the adults of that box. So they'll steal the food, which can um, cause the smaller nestlings of that box to starve. When it comes to an intruder, an adult barn owl that wants a box, it will kill the nestlings and eat them, actually. Uh, actually, it could happen with a fledgling, too. If it's a fledgling, that uh, um, is starving, he will also, or she will kill the nestlings of the box and eat them. So these are very uh, difficult times. And obviously with the barn owls, a threat is at nighttime. So these are very complicated and different times. But the, the strategy of the barn owls is, is they have to feed these nestlings, which is the most difficult thing. The greatest chances of a nestling to die is from starvation, not from being attacked. So the, the, it's more of a, a strategical decision that the Barnals don't decide they've evolved this way, is that they feed. They have to feed, and at a certain age, both parents have to go out and hunt. But this does leave the nestlings uh, um, unattended and, and, and potentially in a situation where they can be attacked by another Barnal or, or another species. But this is normal behavior. Don't get stressed. The female will return at the nighttime. There are cases where female can be injured and stuff like that. This is nature and these things have happened. But it's very, very common that the female roost out of the box is perfectly normal behavior. In the majority of barn owl nests, this happens at a certain age. So don't worry. So I hope you liked this short video. It was, again, it was to a kind of an emergency video to 
to, to tell you all, do not be nervous. Everything is okay. So I want to thank you all for the timestamps and in providing this information. It helps us a lot. And for the moderators, you guys are the best. And please, if you can help us, if you like these streams and videos, please help us and donate. We really need the money to keep these streams going. Well, th this was my whole idea. I've been, uh, over the years, I've been, uh, kind of fighting with myself. Do I, make videos that I explain things or not. Uh, I'm, I'm actually kind of shy. <laughs> and, and, but I, I, for, for me, it's important to pass on some of the information, uh, what's going on in these streams. So I really hope you like it. Uh, so if you like these videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep on watching. Hoochie later.